For me, photography isn't always about the image quality. Often it's just about the experience. And recently I've put together this kit, this bizarre Frankenstein kit that I just really love traveling with and just using casually. You know, if we're traveling with our kid, just a family thing, I know I'm not gonna get any portfolio worthy pictures that I'm ever gonna try to blow up to eight feet across because I'm not putting in hours and hours of effort to nail everything, but I still wanna be able to just take snapshots and enjoy the process. Here's what I've been using. It's a Fujifilm X-T3, and I just love the way the X-T3 looks and feels. And it's really got all these like gorgeous analog controls on it. I put it on this Casa half case, which, it's, by the way, I bought all this gear. None of this was given to me. And then I've got Nikon, old Nikon legacy lenses on it. They have manual aperture rings and it's all manual focus. So how do I get the Nikon lenses onto the Fuji X-T3? I have an adapter, but it's not just an adapter, it's a speed booster. The speed booster takes these full frame Nikon lenses and shrinks down the image circle coming out of the lens to the exact format of that APS-C sensor. So basically you can see this is the adapter here. It's got optics in it and it's shrinking stuff down. Well, I'm upside down inside there now. The end result is that this 28 millimeter F2.8 lens acts like a 28 millimeter F2.8 lens. No weird crop on it. This 50 millimeter F1.4 lens is a 50 millimeter F1.4. And this 105 millimeter F2.5 is a fantastic portrait lens and really small and light and really inexpensive. So if you're a Fuji user or any of this kind of thing appeals to you, you might pick up the X-T3 or at a lower end, the X-T30 and get this sort of vintage experience. Now, you could take your Nikon lenses and stick them on one of the Nikon mirrorless bodies, but I don't enjoy using those as much. I mean, technically they're better. You don't need the speed booster. They have sensor stabilization, but I like the feel of the X-T3 and that's kind of what this is about for me. You could also take these Nikon lenses and stick them on a Nikon DSLR. Why not? You get that sort of fun part out of it and it would actually be closer to film because you have an optical viewfinder. If that's what you enjoy, go for it. But for me, the mirrorless camera experience is really nice because I can set the viewfinder to be black and white. I see the world in black and white and that actually helps me compose. But because these are manual focus lenses, the electronic viewfinder means that I can use focus peaking that helps me nail the focus and just be more accurate about it. It also means that all the time I'm seeing an instant depth of field preview even as I'm clicking through the aperture ring here. So if I set it to F8, in the viewfinder, I see a proper F8 without the viewfinder getting dark like it would on a DSLR with an optical viewfinder. So what do you think? What is your favorite rig for the times when you care more about the experience of photography than you do about the image quality? 